all television and radio stations in the United States will now cease their regular programming. Four horns you can read of in Zechariah chapter 1 are symbolic of the four hidden dynasties of education, economics, politics, and religion used by the Kenites and their co-conspirators to ultimately plant the seed of the mark of the beast in the foreheads of most Christians who is 666 when Satan appears as the false Christ in Jerusalem will die spiritually when the seed of the mark of the beast comes to fruition when they worship Satan instead of Christ which is what Antichrist means, 666 being the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet, and the sixth vial, but the globalization of the four horns of education, economics, politics, and religion happen in reverse order as far as the first four seals are concerned, in other words, 4, 3, 2, 1, rather than 1, 2, 3, 4 with the trumpets and vials, so then 4, 1, 1 would be the first hidden dynasty that was globalized, 4, 1, 1 being code for information, but in this case false information when the hidden dynasty of education was globalized beginning in 1830, in my opinion. Not only did the so-called educational reform itself transpire during the 1830s, making it mandatory to attend grade school, but the technology to brainwash massive amounts of people in real time via the mainstream media began to go into development also. The telegraph, as well as the machinery that made printing massive amounts of newspapers and magazines possible, in large part, coming into being from 1830 onward, also the year of the Indian Removal Act, the fourth seal with that pale horse, which is chloros in the Greek, when the first trumpet began to sound, and you see that word chloros again with the first trumpet in Revelation chapter 8. When all six trumpets of deception are sounding at the same time is when Satan appears as the false Christ, and then the first vial causing a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them that worshipped his image, when Satan's image is transmitted throughout the globe at 666 via the modern day technology which only began to come into being around the same time from 1830 onward, the same year the rapture theory came into being when the first vial was poured out upon the earth, beginning the first spiritual plague of Revelation 16 which doesn't kill spiritually until 666 when Satan appears as the Antichrist and the seals, trumpets, and vials take on their ultimate spiritual meaning. The third part of the trees being burned up, as you can see in the first trumpet, means that same third that will be killed spiritually in Revelation chapters 8 and 9, killed spiritually at the same time when they worship Satan instead of Christ. Only Christians can die spiritually, and the any moment now flyaway deception sets them up to be deceived into worshiping the son of perdition, who is Satan himself, when he appears at the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet, and the sixth vial. The hidden dynasty of education, having been glorified, globalized in 1830, in my opinion, and 411 means information, in this case misinformation, whereby most Christians die spiritually at 666, death being the rider of the pale horse and the fourth seal, and hell followed with him, death being one of Satan's names, and the images of Satan's fallen angel locust army during the consumer stage will be transmitted throughout the world also via the modern day technology at the woe of the sixth trumpet, four being the number of earth, and it's the four hidden dynasties which were globalized from 1830 to 1948 that set the stage for the spiritual kill in the middle of the five month long hour of temptation that begins at the woe of the fifth trumpet when the one world political system comes into being and then after the deadly wound is when Satan appears as the false Christ in the middle of Daniel's 70th week which was seven years but is now five months and 70 evenings later after Satan appears in Jerusalem as the king of Babylon of the end times the true Christ returns at the woe of the seventh trumpet immediately after the tribulation of those days meaning the seven days that are really years of Daniel's 70th week which was seven years but is now five months the hour of temptation that doesn't begin until the woe of the fifth trumpet and then two and a half months later when all six trumpets of deception are sounding at the same time Satan appears as the Antichrist and the seals trumpets and vials at that time go into their ultimate spiritual meaning.
Moving on now to the hidden dynasty of economics, the second hidden dynasty to be globalized out of the four which the Four Horns in Zechariah chapter 1 are symbolic of. In 1913, with the installment of the Federal Reserve System, is the year in which the hidden dynasty of economics was globalized, in my opinion, lining up with the third seal of Revelation chapter 6, where you see a black horse is in the darkness of deception with the balances of deceit you can read of in Amos chapter 8. This also lines up with the second trumpet, and again, these trumpets continue to sound all the way up to when all six trumpets of deception are sounding at the same time when they go into their ultimate spiritual meaning, and the famine for hearing the word of the Lord results in the spiritual death of the third part of men, which are most Christians. So again, 1913 is the year the hidden dynasty of economics was globalized, followed by the two world wars and the Bretton Woods system coming into being as a result, putting the Federal Reserve in charge of the value of the dollar, the global reserve currency, allowing the Kenites to formulate the one-world political system that comes into being at the woe of the fifth trumpet. That's when the he-goat, which is symbolic at this time of the shadow government of the Kenites, becomes the leopard of Daniel chapter 7, and dominion will be given to it at the woe of the fifth trumpet, when the four hidden dynasties become the infrastructure of the one world system written of in Revelation 13 that then receives a deadly wound after which Satan appears as the Antichrist when all six trumpets of deception are sounding at the same time, which is when the third part of the sea, which is symbolic of people, multitudes, nations, and tongues becomes blood, symbolic of the spiritual death of most Christians at that time. The mountain burning with fire, so to speak, in Revelation chapter 8, verse 8, that gets cast into the sea. The Christian nation on earth at that time, which is the many-membered body of the true Christ, will be extinguished spiritually, in other words, for the most part, when they worship Satan instead of Christ at 666, when the seed of the mark of the beast planted by the four hidden dynasties comes to fruition in their forehead, which is what it means to be with child and giving suck. In their right hand, meaning the work they'll do for Satan and his one world system because they'll think he's Jesus. They'll be buying and selling deception as opposed to the truth, which is symbolized by the gold tried in the fire. Christ counsels the church of the Laodiceans to buy of him in Revelation chapter 3 verse 18, where the time frame is during 666. 411 lining up with 1830 in the Hidden Dynasty of Education, with 322 lining up with 1913 in the Hidden Dynasty of Economics, the Federal Reserve System coming into being at that time, which is also when the second vial is poured out upon the sea, so to speak, but it's not until 666 that it becomes as the blood of a dead man, meaning Satan, who is the son of perdition when he appears as the false Christ at 666. That's when every living soul dies spiritually in the sea, and only the third part of men, which are those who are Christian, can die spiritually, and most will at that time, all but those of the Zadok, who are the church in Philadelphia initially, but once they're delivered up and the Holy Spirit speaks through them, the 144,000 who are the church in Smyrna, as well as many out of most, if not all, of the other churches of Revelation chapters 2 and 3 will repent, whereby they can be grafted back into God's family tree, but if they don't repent, repent before the true Christ returns and are found with child and giving suck, so to speak, and buying and selling deception as opposed to the gold tried in the fire, which is symbolic of the truth, they won't take part in the first resurrection, which happens when the true Christ returns at the seventh trumpet immediately after the five-month-long hour of temptation. Having already covered when the hidden dynasties of education and economics were globalized, 1830 and 1913, in my opinion, we come now to 1945 and the hidden dynasty of politics, marked by the United Nations coming into being at that time, which is the great horn of the Hego written of in Daniel chapter 8, verse 8. But remember, the trumpets continue to sound up to the woe of the fifth trumpet when the one world political system comes into being at the beginning of the five-month-long hour of temptation, and then after the deadly wound, by a sword, all six trumpets of deception will be sounding at the same time. 
That's also when the first six vials, which began to be poured out in 1830, go into their ultimate spiritual meaning, which is the spiritual death of the third part of men, which just means mankind, meaning most Christians. They'll be cut off from God's family tree and grafted into the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, along with the Kenites, who are the natural branches thereof, symbolized during the five months by the leopard of Daniel chapter 7. But until then, they're the he-goat of Daniel chapter 8, which is made up of two warring factions of globalists with Kenites in leadership positions on either side through the left-right paradigm worldwide, which is symbolized by Ammon and Moab, which is the unipolar, as opposed to Edom, which means red, which is the multipolar. Nation shall rise against nation, meaning the goat fig nation shall rise against itself, breaking the great horn of the he-goat, which is the United Nations. 233 being the seal, trumpet, and vial lining up with the hidden dynasty of politics, and the United Nations logo itself is two olive branches along with the world map divided into 33 parts. After giving pestilences and famines as the fourth and the third seal, Christ says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. The world wars being what led up to the formation of the United Nations, and as long as you still hear of wars and rumors of wars, the end is not yet. The rider of the red horse in Revelation chapter 6, verse 4, which is the second seal, is given power to take the peace from the earth and that they should kill one another, spiritually speaking, ultimately at 666 when they begin worshiping Satan instead of the true Prince of Peace, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. That's when they'll be with child and giving suck, killing each other spiritually by spreading Satan's deception one to another. And there was given unto him a great sword, symbolic of the deception that will come out of Satan's mouth when he appears as the Antichrist, as opposed to the sword that comes out of the mouth of the true Christ, which is the truth of God's word. For every positive, there's a negative. But before all that, nation shall rise against nation, meaning the Kenite nation shall rise against the Kenite nation through Ammon and Moab on one side and Edom on the other, breaking the great horn of the he-goat, which is the same thing as the one who sends a razor of taxes, the United Nations. But the political trumpet continues to sound, and the he-goat becomes the leopard at the woe of the fifth trumpet when Satan and his angels angels are cast from heaven to earth, and the one world political system written of in Revelation 13 comes into being, which is then wounded to death, which is what kingdom against kingdom means, but as you can see in Daniel chapter 11, verses 25 through 27, the king of the south evidently comes against the one world political system, just as Peter, because of his ignorance of God's plan, cut off the ear of Malchus, which means kingdom, after which he denied Christ three times, symbolic of those three horns, which are symbolic of the Christian nations, plucked up by the roots, as you can see in Daniel chapter 7. That's when they're killed spiritually in the middle of the five-month-long hour of temptation when Satan appears as the false Christ and the third part of the waters become wormwood, as you can see in Revelation chapter 8, verses 10 and 11, the rivers and fountains of water, so to speak, when many men will die of the waters spiritually because they were made bitter, the third trumpet being the political with the waters being symbolic of peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues poisoned by Satan's deception. The third vial was also poured out upon the rivers and fountains of waters beginning in 1945, but they don't become blood, so to speak, until 666. The other two-thirds of humanity were dead already, spiritually speaking, so this looks forward once again to that third, which is symbolic of most Christians, killed spiritually at the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet, and the sixth vial when they worship Satan. Satan instead of Christ, which is what Antichrist means. With the globalization of the hidden dynasty of religion in 1948, when Kenite occupied Israel came into being, the stage was set for Satan to appear as the Antichrist at 666 in Jerusalem, which is what the first seal looks forward to in the ultimate future ascents. Take heed that no man deceive you, as Christ says in Matthew 24, verse 4, especially the man of sin written of in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, the same man whose number is 666 that you can read of in the last verse of Revelation 13, because that's when he will appear in Jerusalem as the false messiah. Satan himself called a man also in Ezekiel 28, as well as Isaiah chapter 14. Not a flesh man, but the same supernatural entity known as Satan 
Satan who rebelled in the First World Age. The rider of the white horse and the first seal, which lines up with the hidden dynasty of religion, and once Satan appears as the Antichrist at 666, in Jerusalem, the one world political system becomes a one world religious system, which is when the third part of the sun, moon, and stars will be darkened, so to speak, because that's when most Christians will worship Satan instead of Christ, which is what Antichrist means. The other two thirds were darkened already, which means spiritually dead. Only those of the Zadok, who are the church in Philadelphia, will refuse to worship Satan when he appears initially, and once they're delivered up and the Holy Spirit speaks through them, the 144,000 who are the church in Smyrna, as well as many out of most, if not all, of the other churches will come out of the confusion, repenting, then being grafted back into God's family tree. The fourth vial being poured out in 1948 when this final generation began, which is the generation of the fig tree, but no one gets scorched with fire, so to speak, until 666. The same fire, smoke, and brimstone, which is symbolic of the deception that comes out of the mouths of Satan's fallen angel locust army and the consumer stage thereof that kills that third spiritually. But this word scorched in the Greek you'll also find in the parable of the sower in the sixth verse of Matthew 13. Remember the 144,000 only had the seed of the seal of God planted in their foreheads before the hour of temptation began and they're the second group written of in the parable of the sower. The first group are those who never were Christian, the second Smyrna, which are the 144,000, and the third group are the rest of the third, meaning those out of the other churches of Revelation chapters 2 and 3, except for Philadelphia, who make up the fourth group initially because they're the Zadok who have the seal of God in their forehead for the entirety of the five-month-long hour of temptation, 144 being the seal, trumpet, and vial the hidden dynasty of religion lines up with having to do with the spirit of Antichrist in 1948 when he went out conquering in the build-up to the hour of temptation and then at 666 to conquer when he appears as the Antichrist, which means instead of Christ, the rider of the white horse in the first seal instead of the rider of the white horse in Revelation chapter 19, which is the true Christ. Notice in Revelation chapter 6 verse 2, Satan has a bow, which is toxon, meaning as the simplest fabric, which means he's a cheap fabric imitation. The king of false Israel, and if you look up the word toxon is from the base of in your strongest concordance, as you can see, it means to produce from seed, as in the serpent seed, who through the four hidden dynasties of education, economics, politics, and religion plant the seed of the mark of the beast that comes to fruition at 666 when Satan's image is transmitted throughout the globe along with the images of his fallen angel locust army in the consumer stage thereof, the four hidden dynasties being the four horns of Zechariah 1 as opposed to the four carpenters which are symbolic of God's word, the law, the prophets, the gospels, and the epistles whereby the seed of the seal of God is planted during the grace period of the fifth trumpet we're now in. It began in 1969, in my opinion, and will continue up until the woe of the fifth trumpet when Satan and his angels are cast to earth and the five month long hour of temptation begins when the he goat becomes the leopard of Daniel chapter 7 and demands dominion is given to it, and then after the deadly wound, Satan appears in Jerusalem as the false Christ when all six trumpets of deception are sounding at the same time, and the first six vials written of in Revelation 16 go into their ultimate spiritual meaning, the mark of the beast coming to fruition at that time in the foreheads of those it was planted within via the four horns. That word scattered in Zechariah chapter 1 verse 19 means to spread, in this case the seed of deception that causes most Christians to die spiritually when they're impregnated in their minds with the deception that Jesus has returned, made possible in large part by the rapture theory which came into being in 1830 when the four hidden dynasties began to be globalized up to 1948 when the generation of the fig tree began. But again, the 144,000 as well as many others will be brought out of the confusion by what the Holy Spirit will say through those of the church in Philadelphia when they're delivered up for refusing to work 
worship the image of the beast, the image in Daniel chapter 3 was symbolic of. The seal of God will at that time spring forth within the minds it was planted within during the grace period of the fifth trumpet, causing the same sort of chain reaction you can read of in the book of Acts. So until then, take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in Christ's name, saying they are Christ, and shall deceive many, primarily about the chronological order of events that lead up to the return of the true Christ at the seventh trumpet, two and a half months after 666, when Satan appears in Jerusalem as the false Christ. Then, if any man shall say to you, here is Christ or there, believe it not, as Christ says in Matthew chapter 24 in the 23rd verse. All will be changed into spiritual bodies at that time when the rider of the white horse in Revelation chapter 19 returns as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the true King of true Israel, which is all who are baptized into the true Christ, Christ Jesus, the Word of God, which is what the four carpenters symbolize, the law, the prophets, the gospels, and the epistles, written in large part through the rest of the 7,000 Zadok, who are the armies which were in heaven, who return with Christ at the seventh trumpet. That's when the four horns will be cast out, as you can see in Zechariah chapter 1, verse 21, when the good figs are returned to Jerusalem, because they're the millennial priesthood, and the evil figs, which are the Kenites, as well as all who are part of Satan's family tree at that time are cast into the outer darkness, the four hidden dynasties being destroyed at that time when the Kenites, who are symbolized by the leopard in Daniel chapter 7, have their dominion taken away, as you can see in Daniel chapter 7 verse 12, but their lives, which means their souls, will be prolonged for a season and a time, along with those still part of the lion and the bear when the true Christ returns, Daniel's fourth beast having been destroyed at that time because it's the supernatural. Satan's role of Antichrist, as well as his fallen angel locust army. But the rest of the beast, those still within the lion, the bear, and the leopard, have their dominion taken away, but their souls prolong for a season and a time. The time being the thousand years, and the season being that little season you can read of in Revelation chapter 20 in the third verse, when Satan is released from the bottomless pit after the thousand years are finished. If those who failed to take part in the first resurrection choose to absorb the discipline taught by Christ, Christ through the millennial priesthood during the thousand years and stand against Satan whenever he's released, they'll be able to take part in the second resurrection into eternal life as opposed to the second death in the lake of fire, being then able to go into the eternity which is the third world age.